going on guys? Welcome back to the Mod Ride. So, first good bit of that video, of this video, <laughs> was uh, something I tried a long time ago. It was just some more failed attempts at the air ride and just tinkering with it, but had all that footage. I figured I would save it. It's been about a month or so. And uh, yeah, I got out here today. I think I gave up on the air ride for right now. Just not enough space on this to really work the way I want it to work. And uh, I'm tired of being stuck with this. I've kind of been, you know, <laughs> just creative block on it. So decided to go a different route. And uh, pretty happy with how that came out. It was all just kind of on a whim. I had no idea. I just opened up all my bins of parts and started seeing what I could put together with it. And um, yeah, the front, let me show you a closer look at that. It was really, it really worked out well. So the main thing I had to do was split the rods, the radius arms here coming from the chassis to the front axle. Um, I had 129 millimeters in there and I played around with it a little bit. I still need to do some tinkering, but I've got 86s in there. Yeah, 86 millimeters and then 40s on the front. And I, it's not, I, I didn't want to do that, but I, I found I had some of the uh, metal thread parts for the rod that were long enough to actually work and just keep it rigid. Because that's the main thing. You don't want to have too much in one side or the other because then once you start driving, it'll strip out or just give out completely. Um, these little touring car shocks I bought a long, long time ago. Um, the other two are on the back of something. I don't even know where. In the back of, I think they're on the back of the uh, tank track rat rod. And uh, they used to be on the number three rat rod, but so they've been around a while. But the problem I was having up front was clearing this, this gear and the motor plate. And everything needed to be here, all the mechanics for the air ride. Um, I had it working, but under, when it was aired up, it would have hit this. And it probably would have interfered with the motor. I don't have a motor in it yet, so it was looking like it was going to be a problem. And it was just a little, that whole carbon fiber thing looked like bulldozer forks on the front or something. It was a little too much. Um, the rear I had done and complete, but it, I wasn't happy with that. The front was going to be so wild and the uh, back was just generic. So I started looking at ways to make the back cooler and uh, making the candy lever system. And it just, there's not enough parts. The, the thing with this build is I want to build with the parts from the Fijon FJ9 drift car kit. And I've scoured through all of that and I've cut up pieces and made stuff and modified everything and I'm running out of stuff and there just wasn't anything that could be used for the type of thing I was needing. So I'm um, looking at the front here. This was an existing hole. Mounts the motor plate to the uh, I guess your, your shaft plate, your retaining plate. And uh, I just run a long screw from the back. Space it out. This is a Y link thing off of an old RC four wheel drive T Rex axle four link kit. I have no idea where the other one is, but I've probably used it on something like this over <laughs> over time. But it's just one of those things that I've had. It's sitting in my my bin with all of my rods and rods in, rod ends, and uh, it just struck me the right way. That bolt hole was perfectly centered on the chassis, unlike so many of the other ones that are offset just a little bit. And uh, it allowed me to get the shocks ahead of all the gearing, all the belts, and uh, worked out perfect actually. Not a big fan of the purple caps on there, but it is what it is. We're just going to roll with it. Gives us a nice feel. The front suspension is not too soft. We've got about five millimeters of ride height. I can live with that. Um, what else? I flipped the front hubs around on the axle and finally got a steering link. Uh, the next step for this, I guess, is going to be to work out the front steering. It's going to be troublesome because looking at where we're going to mount the grill and things like that. Got a nice spot right here, but there is absolutely nothing to attach it to. And that's kind of the same story with the servo. The servo needs to be in that general area. And there's absolutely nothing there. There's no chassis underneath it. So some of the stuff I'd started tinkering with before, making an aluminum extension to the frame, may have to uh, follow through with some of that. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge later. I'm not going to mess with it. Today, um, our firewall is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to do like I do on the uh, several of these rat rod bodies. We've got these holes here that were 3D printed in. And uh, I don't know what size they are, but I've got some uh, rare earth magnets. And I just drill that out a little bit, glue some of those in there, and then we'll cut and weather an actual metal, sheet metal firewall. And it'll just magnetize to it. And it should be fairly straight. It should clear all this gear. And go behind it and line up with that square 
tunnel on the on the uh, chassis that the drive sh drive shaft and everything runs through. And um, yeah, it's really working out great. I've got all this room on the bottom of the chassis inside the cab where the battery, I can get a nice size LiPo in there and uh, I won't have any interference because the drive shaft runs through pretty high. And uh, yeah, so it'll keep the weight down low. And then we can just stick electronics as needed wherever. Should be fairly simple now without the big air ride and pump in it. So let's flip around back. So I've been thinking about this ever since I tried the air ride on the back the second time. <laughs> and uh, the air, those air ride struts are just too big. I mean, they're they're probably 15 millimeter diameter. And then, yeah, there would be no way to crisscross them like that without looking really silly. This is already kind of silly. Uh, I think this side, we've got five or six millimeter of spacer to clear some of the hardware and stuff. And then this side we've got like 25 or 30 millimeters of spacer. But it works. These shocks, I did change the springs out in them. Um, they're not fantastic. We'll probably have to tinker with that some more. But it does work. And it does keep it off the ground. Barely. That gives us <laughs> about three or four millimeter. But we can get them up there a little bit. I just need to uh, go through my big spring bag I got. And find something that fits a little bit better. Um, but there's a lot of adjustment with this. We can take these carbon fiber pieces off and flip them that way it'll put the uh, shock further away if we need it or vice versa or we could always go with the shorter shock and just put them in their normal position and just mount them horizontally like that um, if I had another pair of those purple headed touring car shocks I might have done that just because that would give us the same dampening front and back but it is very different suspension I mean the front with the radius arm the solid axle um, this is independent and the steering and everything still works just fine um, still don't have a clue how we're going to run the mix on that with the front steering. It's going to be, I guess that'll be the step after, once we get the front steering going. But I'm um, digging the way it looks. I've got the body mounted, and uh, I think once we get the firewall in, it'll help hold it in place. Right now it only has two screws. Um, I regret drilling those four holes in the back. <laughs> I was trying something out with some of the uh, other parts of the kit. We could put that back on. It was like a little fastback looking thing. I had these these mounted on there and it, it added a little bit of fake structure but I don't know might do some real structure up there maybe make a roll bar or something I don't know what we're gonna do yet but I'm pretty happy with the stance um, I think we're about done with this video and we'll wrap it up and I uh, appreciate you guys watching let me know what y'all think in the comments and uh, keep it scale I'll see you on the next video